Hello everyone, welcome back to part 8 of um, this 18 part series series and um, we're continuing with the 2013-2019 coexistence now in the previous part which was part C of part 8 we did UCMA4 and we did Visual C++ um, binaries now what we're going to do is we're going to prepare AD and prepare schema and then we will obviously move on to the installation. So I mounted my ISO to the E drive. You can see I changed to E. And I'm gonna, now going to run this command setup space forward slash prepare ad forward slash I accept exchange server license terms because I'm installing a new version. So what this does now is it'll go and basically um, copy all the installation files. Like it looks like a normal setup basically, except it's just going to be doing the part of preparing AD and nothing else. Now, depending on, on how powerful your machines are, as mentioned, this process is generally very quick. Now, from what I've seen on the 2019 installations that I've done, this process is quick. Um, and I mean, I'm running this in a, in a lab environment here. <clears throat> and it might take a couple of minutes so just bear with me while this decides to copy its files it's generally not this slow there we go didn't actually see any progress bar there right so it'll either tell me that it's missing organization name or it's going to just let me wait for it to finish. So prerequisite check. Okay. So you can see by the warning, it's saying that it will prepare the organization for 2016. So no 2016, sorry, for 2019. No 2016 servers um, have been detected and after this operation you'll not, not be able to install any Exchange 2016 servers. So just be aware of that. So if you wanted to double hop then you, sh you should have installed 2016 first after 2013 and then 2019 but that just doesn't make sense. Um, no, no reason to do that unless you wanted to fall back to 2016 for whatever reason. But this process um, is relatively quick. So if it did fail, it would have failed after the prerequisite check here. <clears throat> Once this is done, then we will just change the command to forward slash prepare schema and let it do its thing. Now, as mentioned in the 2013 video, depending on the size of your environment, this can take a while to replicate, if you, especially if you've got 9, 10, 11, 12, etc. domain controllers. Um, as this is a lab, the replication is pretty instant because it's only one DC. <clears throat> but I generally like to reboot after I do all these things. So. When I do the PowerShell prerequisites, I reboot. When I do .NET, I reboot. When I do the UCMA and the Visual C++, I reboot. And then after preparing AD in the schema, I'll reboot before starting the unattended installation of Exchange 2019. <coughs> so it should almost be done. It goes pretty quick after this. So just that you're aware that I am installing CU9 for Exchange Server 2019 and you'll notice that it is publicly accessible to download. It's not, um, you can get it in the Volume Licensing Center or MSDN as well, but you can download CU9 now directly from the internet without any issues. <coughs> So we're almost done, and there you go. 
you can see everything's there's 100% there completed so now I'm gonna just clear the screen and I'm going to prepare the schema so it's gonna basically do the same kind of thing copy the files and then once it's done it'll do its check and then it will start with the schema so file copy is done as you can see and this is not too shabby for a lab machine right let's just wait for it okay prerequisite done and now we are extending the Active Directory schema so I'm not going to keep you hanging on the line while this does its thing because uh, the last time I did it was 2013 it took an extra 15 minutes 10-15 minutes so we are basically now done with the final part of the preparations to install the Exchange Server 2019 so I'm going to reboot as soon as this is done and then I'll see you in the final part of part 8 to install Exchange 2019 from the command line, no GUI interface like we did with 2013. And once that's done, we basically have coexistence running. So see you in the next part. Thank you very much for watching.